Ever heard of a rooster that can lay eggs? Sex chickens that are half rooster and half hen are so rare that few people in the poultry business even know about them. condition is called gynandromorphism, a Latin word meaning female male form. In the 1920s a Dr. Schaff from Ontario kept chickens in his backyard and one of those chickens looked like a rooster on one side and a hen on the other. Its behavior was confusing because it tried to mate with other hens but also laid eggs. Schaff decided to have it for dinner. After the bird had been plucked he noticed that each side of the bird was different. He also found a testicle on one side and an ovary on the other. After roasting and eating the rooster, hen, The good doctor cleaned the bones and gave them to an anatomy professor who wrote about it in 1923. The occurrence of gynandromorphism in chickens is rare. Somewhere between 1 in 10,000 and 1 in 100,000, so it hasn't been studied much. Animal science also hasn't had the tools to observe reproduction or decipher the relationship between chromosomes and hormones until recently. One expert on the subject is Dr. Michael Clinton, from Scotland's University of Edinburgh. According to Dr. Clinton, Gynandromorphism in chickens is caused by double fertilization and results in what looks like two opposite sex birds glued together. The male side has larger bones and muscles. Even the male side of the vertebrae is larger. The bird will have a male and female kidney, and other internal organs such as the heart or brain may have male and female sides. Gynandromorphic chickens aren't just a curiosity for Dr. Clinton. If we can understand the differences between the male and female identities, then we can imagine making female birds with the same growth characteristics as males. That would increase productivity and food security.
dynandromorph research also has implications for human health. There are differences between males and females in susceptibility to a variety of diseases and stress. Conditions like MS, dementia, addiction, and heart disease are different in men and women. Understanding gynandromorph brain development and function may help us better understand behavior traits diseases and other disorders. Thankfully, the work of people like Dr. Jacob and Dr. Clinton could provide answers to many questions. The stranger than fiction chickens may one day lead to better health for humans. Ha <laughs> <laughs>